Here's the interesting app called Oops, Don't Waste Your Money. So let's just tap Get and install it. It's quite high in the charts uh, right now in finance category in US. Oops helps you not waste your money. Oops will encrypt your financial data and store it securely. Oops will never have access to your bank credentials. Uh, link as many bank accounts as you want to keep track of all your spending in one place. Sort transactions as you spend. You can always be on top of your spending. Press the Oops button to catch an impulse purchase or something you regret buying. Uh, stay accountable to see how much money you may be wasting each month. Build awareness and become a better spender. So why this app is climbing in charts? My suggestion is that probably you heard that like Mint app is closing down. Mint app was like a market leader app in like tracking your spending. And now like consumers looking for great alternative, it's actually quite hard to find. Uh, there is another Monarch app, there is Credit Karma app from Intuit, but all of those apps are lacking something. Therefore, you know, there is the big demand like how to replace Mint app. So this is one of the top alternatives. So then, yeah, you can just sign in and create an account. You need to enter your number and then you can create your uh, account. Uh, and then you need to enter your username as well. And then, yeah, allow notifications. You can give access to your contacts. Uh, you can skip that half thankfully and then yeah you, then you can just uh, sort that uh, exclude that and then for example you can see here okay so this is the oops payment meaning it was some emotional purchase or you have no idea what was that or something and then uh, yeah and then you can shake to undo so it's like very uh, yeah uh, so that's how it works. And then uh, that's just like an overview. And then you need to connect your bank or card. Unfortunately, it only works in US as, as I understand. And yeah, as a default, it's using Plaid to connect um, cards, which is like the industry standard. Uh, but the, yeah, here you can see all of the banks available. So yeah. That's the idea. Uh, so super cool interface. Uh, and then you need to connect your bank to start using the app. Otherwise it's not usable as you can see. And as I guess it only works in U US. Not sure that it works in, in Canada, for example, or something like that. But yeah, there you have it.